Many, many years ago, in a faraway village in the east, lived a woman called Ndidi. Ndidi was a lazy and greedy woman who hated to do any work. Every evening, Ndidi would knock from door to door, begging the villagers for food. Many people in the village got tired of her endless begging and decided to stop giving Ndidi food. Whilst others went to the farm or the market, Ndidi would be at home painting her nails and lazing about. She believed she had no reason to work because when she begged, she always got food to eat. This happened for a very long time till one fateful day. It was now evening and Ndidi moved from one house to the other begging for food and nobody gave her food. She could not believe that she had been begging for hours and there was no food in sight. Night came and Ndidi was so hungry. This had never happened to her before, so she was so much in shock. She tried to sleep with the hunger, but her stomach was hurting and rumbling at the same time. Ndidi got up late that night and began to walk around the village looking for what to eat when she stumbled on a very old woman by the bush path. Mama, can I get something to eat? Ndidi knelt down to beg the old woman as she was so hungry. The old woman looked up at her with pity and told Ndidi to follow her. They walked for a few minutes and Ndidi was now getting tired. Mama, this place we are going to is foul. I don't think I can walk any longer, said Ndidi with a frown on her face. The old woman looked back at her but didn't utter a word. They continued walking until they got to a very small hut by the bush path. The old woman invited Ndidi into her house and brought out a small plate of food as well as some ingredients to make a full pot of food. She told Ndidi that this was the last plate of food she had at home and that she was also hungry. She now told Ndidi to choose between preparing a pot of food that would be enough to feed the both of them or eat the only plate of food she had. Ndidi, without remorse or hesitation, grabbed the only plate of food and ate it all because she was too lazy to cook. The old woman looked at her and shook her head as she knew that it would only be a lazy and greedy person that would act in that way. Immediately Ndidi finished eating the food, she left the old woman's house without caring much about what the old woman would eat that night. Hmm. Ndidi got home and felt extremely satisfied and went straight to bed. The next morning, everyone had gone to their businesses but Ndidi was still asleep. She slept all morning and afternoon, and by the time she woke up, it was evening. Ndidi decided to go around the village to beg for food as usual, and this time again, nobody gave her food. She begged and begged and begged, but everyone cursed at her and pushed her out of their house. Immediately, Ndidi remembered the old woman who helped her the previous night and decided to journey into the bush in search of the woman. She walked for a long while till she saw the small hut in the distance. So, she went into the hut and saw a pot of food. The old woman was not home, so Ndidi decided to eat up all the food. She ate and ate and ate, even when her stomach was full, 
and they did not stop eating until she finished the whole food. At least, this food will last me for a very long time as no one in the village has agreed to give me food in two days. And Didi said to herself. Then, she quickly left the old woman's hut and headed straight home. Few minutes later, the old woman got home, very hungry and tired, and noticed that someone had eaten up all her food. Whilst Indidi was happy that she was no longer hungry, the old woman was in so much agony. She had not eaten all day and came home to an empty pot. Who could have eaten all my food? She said in anger as she began to cook another pot of food. Night came again and Indidi this time did not bother to beg the villagers for food as she headed straight to the old woman's hut. I hope I can get some food here today, she thought to herself as she snuck into the hut. The old woman was away again and Indidi immediately spotted a pot of food by the corner of the old woman's bed. She rushed and opened the pot and saw a very delicious looking pot of food. Indidi began to eat and eat and eat and not long after, she realized that she was eating live maggots. The woman had put a spell on the pot of food that made Indidi think she was eating good food. Once Indidi realized this, she began to throw up as her stomach began to hurt. Immediately, the old woman returned and saw Ndidi looking so pale. The old woman was shocked as she had no idea that it was Ndidi who had been stealing her food all this while. Ndidi knelt down and begged the old woman for mercy. And when she returned home, Ndidi made up her mind to stop begging. And that was how Ndidi began to go to the farm and market to make her own money and get her own food. The lesson to be learned from this story is that we should always work hard. Do not be lazy and never take what does not belong to you as you might just put yourself in a lot of trouble. I hope you enjoyed the story. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. It helps us grow our channel. I'll see you in our next story. Bye.